Ogre slaying here, goblin slaying there. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a fucked up New Year. All right, let's do this. Ha! What up, big geeks and dudes and dudettes? My name is DV Geek and welcome back to another video and a happy first of December to each and every one of you. Yes, Christmas is finally here. It has officially begun. I don't cel start celebrating Christmas until the first day of December and even people say that might be a bit too early, but hey, I'm actually really excited this Christmas because it's going to be a lot more different for me this year and I'll explain that in a different video, but we are here for another video and, you know, Christmas is a great time of year. I love Christmas. I love everything about it. I love, you know, giving presents, getting presents. I mean, who doesn't like getting presents? Am I right? I'm I got a present this year, Santi. But anyway, I'm super hyped for this Christmas and I'm just excited about it. So I just wanted to get back into the festive cheer of things and I want to wish you all a happy Christmas and a happy 1st of December. And what is the best way to celebrate the first day of Christmas? Oh my god, I got it. The most festive thing I could do right now is watch Goblin Slayer. Because why not, right? I mean, Goblin Slayer is Christmassy. I mean, he's got red on his helmet and that's the color of Christmas and there's a lot of red in this with the blood and stuff and ogres are kind of similar to elves just uglier I guess but hey it's more goblin slayer and I'm excited dude so if you guys are hyped be sure to leave a like let's go for a like goal for this video of 1000 likes it's been a while since we hit a thousand likes in our goblin slayer videos so we can smash a thousand I greatly appreciate it and let's just get into this dudes so without further ado let's watch goblin slayer yay goblin slayer time I love goblin slayer here we go What's rather ridiculous there, Mr. Goblin Slayer man? Priestess, be careful! Ooh, it's like water. Get ready. Is it a portal? Oh! Goblins. <laughs> I just predicted what he was going to say. So, who is summoning the goblins? Oh. oh, is that a champion? Has the champion returned? Uh oh, elf girl. Oh, wow. Okay, this episode is starting off the way I like it. We have a horde of goblins about to pursue them. I'm like super freaking hyped, dudes. Alright dudes, here we go. You guys hyped for this one? I think this is gonna be an interesting one. I mean, I mean starting off the episode like that You know, we got something good here. I mean, I feel like this should be orchestrated You! You! Do it right! Do it right! <laughs> I should be an orchestra. Uh, what are they called? Those dudes with the white stick? I don't know. Perfect! There and back again. Let's do it, dudes. Oh, the champion has returned. And she only has one arrow. She's trembling. She's scared. And I don't freaking blame her. Dragon Tooth Warrior. Draw them in and take them down. Okay, here we go. Oh, the action is about to begin, my dudes. Here we go. Come on, Elf Girl. She's best girl. Wait, no, Priestess is best girl. No, 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 Archbishop is best girl. Carol Girl is best girl. Receptionist is best girl. They're all best girls, okay? In this anime, we'll make an exception. Every single one of the females are best girl. This is vital. Whoa! But I thought she killed two with one arrow, but Oh man, here we go! Let the countdown begin! 
Already count up, I should say. Watch out, girl! Oh, nice! Dragon Tooth Warrior! What a boss! <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call it kawaii now or anything like that, girl, but still, you know, whatever you think. Strength of the 10,000! What? Okay, now that's an ability I did not know he had. He can summon abilities from his ancestors. The champion is back. And he's got his eye on them. <laughs> Sorry. Get a fetch her some arrows, boy. Oh, nice! Ooh, there's only so much time they can stall! He's back. Watch out! I think she's doing her best, bro. Oh, they're getting too close now. That's it. Yes! 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 Oh man, I hope this plan comes together, bro! Oh! Oh! There's the trump card. Oh. Nice! Nice! Here we go! Here comes a miracle! Oh my god, this team up is amazing, dude! I love this freaking show! Wow! 53! 53 goblins versus them! I mean, seriously, animators, I really do applaud you for this anime. You keep it consistent, it's done very well, and the writing, superb. Oh! <laughs> She's becoming a badass. She's becoming hardcore, dude. Oh, she added explo he, he added explosions to that. Hey, come on, girl! <laughs> what gives? <laughs> like, that wasn't any easy kick. Like, Jesus. Oh, here's best girl, number two. Interesting. So is she testing them? Is she testing them? A guardian beast! Oh, okay! Oh my god! No, they tortured them first. Oh, that was her. Oh my god. That was her, right? And she her eyes got burned. Oh. Yeah, but you think she can like body god is no problem, but it's just PTSD, I guess. From what she had to endure. So she's the one responsible for transporting the goblins. So she can make people understand. I think that's what I'm getting from that. Correct me if I'm wrong. She is creaming all over my boy, Orkbog. <laughs> Just like that. She's on her knees, dude! She's on her knees! Poor thing. Because I'm the Goblin Slayer. She can't take it. It's too much. Aww. That poor thing. 
He's gone like Batman, dude. Freaking. Wow. Wow. Okay. She's probably. What the fuck did you say to that girl? She's on her knees and she's in tears. What did you do? I mean, that gate mirror, that could have come in handy for, like, so many different things, but I guess Orkbald knew that it wasn't good to have that around. Yes, finally somebody addressed it! <laughs> he's always wearing a fucking helmet! Ice streets. <laughs> Who? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna make it first. Of course he wants some. Of course he will. Wow. Like only in this show you can go from slaying freaking goblins to near death to making ice cream. <laughs> I love this freaking show, dude. I say it every single week. It's absolutely amazing. Alright, so next week's episode is called Dozing. Okay. I'm not sure what that's about, but we'll find out, I'm sure. Woo! So there it is, dudes. That concludes another episode of Goblin Slayer. And this week's episode was awesome. Really, really enjoyed it, dude. I mean, the first few minutes of the show was just intense. It was exciting. It was suspenseful. And then it became totally action-packed with the hacking and the slashing of the goblins. And this amazing plan that Goblin Slayer seems to come up with on the spot in no time. I mean, he really is a quick thinker. He's a strat strategist fighter and i love it i love how he just plans out everything and it all it not always comes together but when it does it comes together in epic fashion but you know having a perfect plan doesn't mean it's going to be perfect you have to have good teammates to do so and i think this faction of his combined together they make a great team you know they really do having the elf girl in the background you know fending them off from a distance using her archery skills to take them out one by one you know so it's not as overwhelming as goblin slayer goes in there takes them all out himself and of course you know with that with the miracles of the priestess to do these amazing things that they need to do which is kind of like the vital point of the plan is what makes it so good and of course the dwarf with some support and having that um, attack of his to obviously you know for last minute measures or whatever so all in all they work really good together and also lizard man a really really cool character i love the fact that he can summon these warriors to help him and they're no you know they're not weak warriors they're pretty damn strong they can take arrows no problem and they're a decent size as well so they can fend off a lot of foes and it just comes in so handy it just adds an extra player to the game i don't know where lizard man is able to conjure two at a time maybe three or maybe he's not at that level yet i also like the fact that he kind of called out to his ancestor when he said i think brontosaurus he said looking for the strength of a brontosaurus and he can actually you know summon the strength of his ancestors and use that to his advantage to obviously take down this big mirror that was on the wall so a really really great episode really action-packed and i really enjoyed that you know but the kind of the omg of this is the plot point in it where <laughs> plot point the priest or not the priest is the archbishop is actually responsible for this mirror in the first place she is responsible for the goblins being you know under the city in the first place because she wanted people to know the horrors and the terrors of the goblins because we have seen her flashback i was kind of waiting for that and we got that we got that flashback of her being completely deviled by these goblins in a way that is only unimaginable you know and she's gone through this experience and she's you know been dealing with it ever since and she's gonna constantly deal with it now she is responsible for taking down a demon lord so she's obviously very very powerful and you think why is she afraid of a few goblins well having something like that in your past that kind of experience going through that literally hell of course it's gonna live with you forever no matter how powerful you are you know everybody has fears you know no matter how powerful how strong you are how fearless you are everybody has a fear and that is her fear goblins and she can somewhat relate to goblin slayer but not really because goblin slayer like said look i've witnessed what you went through and i've seen it from start to finish but i don't understand what you went through i didn't feel it myself personally you know so that 
is really really awesome i like that and i think that was kind of like whoa i can't believe that actually happened but the goblins are done for they're done that's a chapter done here goblin slayer fixed it the problem is gone and now he's obviously you know he, he put the pieces together he knew that this wasn't right it wasn't normal for goblins to be doing the things that they were doing it had to have been somebody giving them these things giving them access to these things to do the things that they apparently done and that just goes to show his expertise as a goblin slayer as well so he's just proven again that he's just a pure expert when it comes to goblins and he knows when something isn't quite right you know so i don't know if that's going to be the end of the archbishop i'm sure we'll see her again but now they're off on another journey to do their own thing and i like i said before i think this is the only anime where we can go from hacking and slashing goblins and blood and gore and thrills and spills to I want to make ice cream. You know, it's just so great how they transition that. It can be a really effed up anime to a really lighthearted, funny anime. And that's what makes it so good. That's why this anime is my favorite anime this season. I, I want to say this right now. I do love that time I got reincarnated as a slime. I really love that show. But I think Goblin Slayer right now is here. And that time I got reincarnated as a slime is just here now sometimes it overtakes with the episodes but from this episode alone i'm saying goblin slayer is on top right now so really really awesome stuff and i enjoyed it thoroughly if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to leave a like like i said let's go for 1k likes on this video like and subscribe and of course share the video around with your friends if you think they'd enjoy my videos and my thoughts on the show i greatly appreciate it and of course subscribe to the channel if you love goblin slayer content or if you just love this kind of content in general anyway thank you so much for watching and as always always stay geeky stay cool be awesome and be happy and i'll see you dudes in my next goblin slayer video see you later dudes